harmonious in urban life. The focus is man management uh, of conflict, but for urban life, right? You see a lot of changes um, and so on and so forth, okay? Well, the growth of the world between 2020-2030, the global population will grow by 2.2 billion and 2.1 billion will be added to the cities. So that's a church. We have a strength. Our strength is the rural areas. And there's a history on this. And it's um, another topic to discuss. There's a history why we have been so focused on the rural areas in the countryside. Okay? It's another topic uh, that we don't want to deal with right now. Um, but just to show you the challenges that we are facing as a church. In Delhi, India, the population is 15 million, and there are 1,500 Adventists. One Adventist for every 10,000 people. And this is just one of the biggest cities in India. If you stood in the middle of Delhi's Chandi Chowk market at noon, okay, ito yun. And people were walking past you at the rate of one person every 10 seconds. It would be 4 p.m. the next day before you would meet one Seventh-day Adventist. Can you see how big the challenge is in uh, India? Mm. And for those of you who are being called in mission work, India, seeing several church planters there. I'm coaching the, um, the Southern Asian uh, Southeast Asian religion or South Asian religion associate director there. Um, and they're looking for missionaries who can be part of uh, the work there in India. In London, okay, United Kingdom, there are only 450 indigenous Adventists, meaning there might be a lot of Adventists uh, living right there right now. Um, but most of them are immigrants, okay? You see Filipinos and uh, different nationalities who are Adventists, who are already Adventists when they have arrived in London. But there are only 450 indigenous Adventists. And the population is 8.3 million. And so that would mean one indigenous Adventist for every 18,444 people. Look how much the, the challenge is now. Imagine you arrive at an Adventist church in London at 11 on Sabbath morning and someone walks past the church every 10 seconds. You would wait until 2 o'clock Monday. So that's wait until 2 o'clock Monday after before an indigenous seven-day Adventist walk in the door of the church. Well, Africa, the highest rate of urban growth in the world today, 1940. 1940, there is only one city who had a population of, of more than 1 million. Today, more than 80 cities have more than 1 million people. And um, I, I did not uh, catch it, but I believe Roland shared something about you know, um, uh, the idea, the concept of urban mission in the book of Jonah. Well, the work in the cities is the essential work for the time. Uh, for this time, Ellen White said, it will be settling of operation or in operation of a mighty movement such as we have not yet witnessed. Well, we have not witnessed it because we have not focused our energies, our efforts, our time in reaching the cities of today. Well, Ellen White wrote this or mentioned this more than 100 years ago, okay? And you might wonder, what happened, right? Ano nangyari? Well, uh, one of our uh, researchers in the Adventist Church, and he's uh, retired now, Montesalin, uh, wrote a book, uh, Mission to Metropolis, and he cited you know, several attempts that the church had to, to reach the cities. Um, it's not that we did not uh, see the importance of the cities. But time and time again, we have been derailed, okay? Uh, in 1883 to 1893, uh, there was uh, an initiative, okay, coming from the uh, General Conference, which they called the Original City Missions. 
and in 1897 to 1904, okay, there was the Metropolitan Medical Mission work. We started establishing uh, sanitariums and sending health missionaries in the cities, okay? And then the turn of the century crisis in 1901 to 1906. Um, but for a while, the church... All right, sorry again. When somebody calls to me, uh, my, my laptop is synced with my phone, so uh, my presentation is interrupted. Sorry about that. Now, there was a neglect of the cities in 1909 to 1910. And then there was a change in focus in 1930 to 1940. This is where, you know, the uh, emphasis in uh, rural or countryside, country living uh, was carried out, okay? Um, a church leader back then established uh, a group to compile uh, a book Okay, that talks about country living, right? And then a revival of metropolitan mission um, happened in 1950 to 1960, and there was an inner city program right uh, after the wars, right? And um, and then at the end of the 20th century, this was revived, okay. Um, and in 2005, um, a program was uh, again initiated, Hope for the Big Cities. And presently, okay, we still have mission to the cities. We have a document, an official document that talks about uh, our initiative to continue reaching the growing cities of the world. So this is what happened. It's not that we did not do anything. The time and the time again, we are being distracted, okay? Um, and today, I believe um, COVID-19 has distracted us. Uh, but thank God for people uh, that he is using, right? That um, uh, feel the burden to continue reaching the cities for God, all right? So um, the question is, after several attempts, should we leave the cities? Should we not focus more on uh, reaching the countryside? Uh, since Ellen White wrote a lot of, um, you know, uh, articles or a lot of um, advice um, to leave the cities and move to the countryside. So Monticelli said, found 107 periodical articles on city work. Of this, 75 give specific instruction about moving into the cities for the purpose of reaching the cities. So what would Jesus do if he is with us today? Well, during that time, he said um, in Matthew 9, 36, when he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were has harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. I hope we, we have uh, that burden, that desire to reach to the people uh, getting lost in the city. Um, and I believe uh, every one of you here can be used by God in uh, different ways to reach the people living in the cities. Um, and let me, let me just share a simple testimony to you. So in uh, 2012, that's when I started uh, um, ministry to young professionals here in Metro Manila. That's also when I felt the burden of planting churches in Metro Manila. And so I started establishing um, small groups in the cities, trying to reach the young professionals of uh, Metro Manila. One night I was um, leading a small group in Cubao. For those of you who have been here in Metro Manila, that's a pretty dense uh, populated area. And it's the same time, it's a commercial district. And so right after our, um, our small group meeting, it was uh, the end of the month, parang ngayon, right? And uh, at the end of the month, what, what do we do? What do we have? Para uh, sa trabaho, you get your paycheck, right? And so right after our small group session, I went to the ATM 
and withdraw my um, salary for the month. And then I rode uh, a bus. So I put my money in my pocket and then my cell phone in my pocket. And then um, pagkaho nakasakay na kayo ng, ano, ng bus dito, pre-COVID, okay? You'll know and you'll understand what I'm saying. It's really uh, difficult to ride, especially in uh, the rush hours. I look, um, the, the conductor started um, giving tickets. And so I started looking for my money in my pocket. Lo and behold, after several minutes, uh, my the, the money, which I just recently um, withdrew from my ATM and my cell phone were snatched. And so this was my this was uh, a first time experience. It was so traumatic for me that I never I stopped riding buses because of that experience. For a while, I stopped riding buses. It was so traumatic. Um, so I said, "Din ako sa sakay ng bus." Several um, months later, I realized ko mahal pala pagka nagtataksi ka lang. So. I started driving bus again, and one night I was uh, leading our uh, small group leaders training in um, in SM Mega Mall, and uh, it started raining cats and dogs. Napakalakas ng ulan, and so after that again I rode the bus, and after riding a bus I need to take another jeepney ride to where I I was uh, residing, um, and. It, it was raining hard. And after I uh, got off the bus, I saw people walking out of the street where I would start riding. I supposedly uh, ro uh, start riding uh, a jeep, okay, going to, to where I was living. So, sabi ko, bakit ko kayo naglalakad? Or people are started walking out. Uh, sabi niya, sir, baha na dun sa gawin ito. Sabi niya, lakad na lang kayo kung tigaroon kayo, sabi niya. And so, I removed my shoes, started folding my my pants, started walking on the floods of Metro Manila. And you probably have seen uh, floods in the news, right? Here in Metro Manila. Well, when, uh, once I got in my uh, the apartment I was renting, Pagbukas ko ho ng pinto, kasabay ko pumapasok yung tubig. And in a matter of, what, one or two minutes, the flood reached my uh, breast. Ganun kabilis ang baha. And so, I wasn't able to um, take all my belongings to the next level of the, the apartment I was uh, renting. Um, I, I wasn't able to save a lot of my stuff. And so I said, Lord, and ito pala kahirap dito sa siyudad. Um, but, you know, I, I continue on praying. I, I know God has, a, has a, a mission for me in the city. And I said, Lord, um, I hope you provide for me this time a place where I can be safe. My staff can be safe. Okay? And I was just starting in the ministry back then. So uh, that was devastating for me kasi yung mga... You know, the appliances, the books that you uh, collected over time, um, lahat yun nasira. And so I was able to find an apartment, this time on the third floor. Okay? Sabi ko, pagkababahin pa ako nito, sigurado Metro Manila Bahana. And so long story short, uh, one night, again, I was, uh, I was leading a, a meeting of uh, leaders of our small group. When I got a call, I received a call from my uh, landlady. And she said, Ray, nasan ka? I said, I'm already dito po ako sa Ortigas. I'm meeting po ako. And then sabi niya, come home, umuwi ka, ngayon din. Then I said, bakit po? Pinasok yung bahay mo. And you know, pagka pinasok yung bahay mo, uh, you know what that, uh, that means, right? And so... I said to my, you know, to my, uh, one of my leaders, because you lead out the meeting, I'll rush home now. So pagdating ko sa bahay, ninupahan ko, sira yung pinto, there's a lot of stuff missing. I don't know for, 
for some reasons, that day, iniwan ko yung mga gamit ko. Okay? Yung laptop ko, yung iPad ko. Iniwan. Tapos may binili akong bagong pabango. Pati yung pabango, kinuha din. And so I started questioning God. Sabi ko, Lord, you really have a, me- a-, a mission for me here in the city? Or are these, re- are these things happening to me are reasons for me to stop doing what I'm doing? And then I found this. I found this verse in the Bible, Matthew 9:36. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. I realized that, because I found it in one of my devotionals, I realized that the experience I, I had were not reasons for me to stop. I realized that God was giving me more reasons to continue. Why? Because pasama na ng pasama yung mga syudad. The question is, what are we doing? Well, I hope we do what would Jesus do. Amen? I hope we continue on uh, reaching to the people in the city, regardless, no matter what. Even if it's hard, even if it's difficult, and even if it means, you know, um, our lives would be in danger. I realized that God was giving me more reasons to continue. Continue on with what I started doing. Sabi ko, Lord, na nakawa na ako, mas natsan na ako, na binahan na ako. Tapos ko yung pinasok ang bahay ko. Kailan kaya ako masusunugan? <laughs> Kailan kaya ako, ma- baka ma-rate naman ako sa susunod dito. <laughs> And so, I said, Lord, use me. I know you have a plan for me. And I want to do what Jesus did. Because I see a lot of people around me. They are harassed. Myself was harassed. And I see helpless people. They need a shepherd. They need people who can introduce to them the ultimate shepherd of all. And that's Jesus Christ. So the question is, what are we doing today to reach our cities? What are we um What, what is God calling us to do to become part of a move, movement in the cities of today? I pray that you will continue to become part of the church planting movement in the cities of today. Be it there in Mindanao, wherever you are today. I pray that God will instill in you the compassion that he had for the people in the cities. In you, in, after a minute or two, Roland, is that okay? Uh, how how much time yes, do I have? Actually, uh, I'm going to give because this one is more important than my my next uh, part talk is actually more practical. But I think I could give you uh, uh, 10 more minutes, Pastor. Is that fine? And then we'll have sure. another yes. Answer. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. Okay. So. The question is, how do we reach the cities, right? Um, you might ask yourselves, okay, cities are important to God. Um, Jesus himself reached to the cities, and God has a mission for us to reach the cities today. And the church has been emphasizing this uh, time and time again. So how do we reach the cities? Um, let me just uh, propose Uh, some principles for you to reach uh, the cities of the day. Okay? These are some principles that you can uh, apply. The good thing about principles is that you can apply them um, wherever you are, whatever context, uh, context you are in today. Okay? All right. So the first principle is um, all of these are uh, inspired by the spirit of prophecy. First one is when you reach the city, you've got to bring a Christ-centered message. People need to see okay, that the great center of an attraction is Jesus Christ. And he must not be left out of the third angel's message. As a church, I believe we have been given a special message 
in the last days to preach to all people, tongues, and nations, right? But in the midst of all these messages, I pray that Jesus will still and continue to be the center of our message and our mission. Um, it's just sad that we continue on, you know, um, just providing people warnings without providing them hope in Jesus. Uh, and so warnings uh, in turn become, you know, uh, parang pananakot instead of hope without Jesus. So if we just provide them warnings without Jesus, para lang tayong nananakot. But if we uh, we give them Jesus and then provide them warning, then they can have hope in their everyday life. The second principle would be Christ's method. Uh, you can never go wrong if you follow uh, the footsteps of Jesus Christ. And um, this is, uh, I believe you, you've, been, you've been hearing this for those of you who are engaged in church planting or uh, urban mission. You've been hearing this for quite some time. Minister of Healing 143, Christ's method alone will give true success in reaching the people. The Savior mingled with man as one who desired their good. He showed his sympathy for them, ministered to their needs, and won their confidence. Then he bade them follow me. Okay, I'll move forward on this. The next one would be strategic planning. Um, there is no other way for us to, to reach the cities uh, with
and feel. Right? Um, it's not just a place for opportunities. Okay? Ah, punta tayo doon kasi mag-aaral ako. If you are to reach the city, you need to have the, the mindset that you will be there not just by working. Kaya I admire Pastor Rodio is here. Uh, he is a tent maker. Right? Um, if you see the city as a mission field, okay, then uh, even if at work, even if in the school, you will continue to reach people for God. So these are the principles I want to live with you. Christ-centered message, Christ method, strategic planning, creativity and innovation, and city as mission field. Okay, um, I have much to share. Yung pala yung mga principles, yung mga methods, I, I don't know if I still have time. You, you but, can go uh, on password with the methods. Okay lang ba? Baka you are delayed. Uh, um, I don't want I to. I think the methods is uh, one of the things that uh, our attendees want to hear. So hmm. on the practical side, uh, yes, we could make move out some space. All right, um, sige. Um, sorry for... Uh, because I believe this is uh, these principles are important. Before we move to towards uh, methodologies, we need to know the principles behind. Okay, it's uh, we need to establish our foundation that uh, what we're doing is not just you know some creative thinking, <laughs> but are really uh, blessed and ma mandated by God Himself and the spirit of prophecy. It's important that we we have that foundation because uh, it's easy to lose sight of you know of, uh, the mission and just just be creative. Ako, I'm a creative person. And I, let me tell you this. Um, if, I'm just, if I can just be honest with you, I've been through uh, it actually. I I saw myself uh, um, at the you know at the edge of just you know doing some creative. Uh, stuff um, doing some creative ministries without really realizing um, you know the, the foundation the, the biblical foundation of it and I, I'm thankful for leaders who you know in the process were were with me um, guiding me uh, in uh, the necessary steps that I need to take as I venture in uh, to the unknown of reaching the people in the cities okay being creative and innovative. Um, I'd like to particularly share some methods. Uh, again, uh, this is in my context. Uh, my context is, uh, let me just provide you some uh, information of my context. But, uh, for those who um, don't know me, uh, this is my context. And I want to uh, give you at least a background. I hope I'm not taking much of your time. Okay. Uh, okay, this is my family. Uh, we are a young family. My daughter just turned four years old. And uh, my wife is a pediatrician. She is a doctor. Um, this was this is where we live right now and where we first planted a church. It's the Bonifacio Global City. Uh, um, and
Recording in progress. Possible, but it's possible to, to really reach out to these people. Okay, we would go on road trips with them. We would hang out with them. We would, um, you know, uh, reach out to the hospitals together. Provide, uh, we pray for them, we provide gifts. And so, long story short, um, we realized that God is calling us to, to this ministry. And so, we started if there's just two of us, 